Hello everyone, this is Zenic. Um, I'm coming to you with another Minecraft video. And this one's going to be a mod highlight and tutorial, basically, of the Better Than Wolves mod. I'm going to be showing you in this video how do you use the pulley system to actually make an elevator. Um, this is going to be just a really quick tutorial and series and just to help out people with some questions. I'll also be answering questions if anyone has any. Um, so let's get started. I already got a water wheel place and a 3x3 three three tunnel set all the way down. I've already got the wiring preset because that will, would have taken a lot longer. I have this set up so that we can use either a button or a, a lever. I got a vertical redstone line of redstone torches at the bottom, I got the lever and the button again. So let's get back up. Yes, I am used in single player commands to make this a lot quicker. And just ignore that in the background. It's me playing around with buildcraft in combination with this. Now, what we need for this is two different types of things. And one of the, these two um, flip flops. This one is for the button. With this one, you basically have a, I think it's called a T flip flop. And when you press the button, it turns on a clock and switches this one on. So turning whatever output on. And when you press it again, it turns off. Now the switch sign is the one I first came up with, which is actually pretty useful. Turn it one on, turn the other one on, it turns it off. Turn that one off, it turns back on. Both off, it's off. This one I recommend if you're using a lever. This one is for button, because it's basically for toggle inputs. So I'm going to make uh, this one because this one is a lot better for what I'm going to be doing and it's actually more compact than the other one. So actually I need to shorten this a bit. Oh yeah, and it's important that with your redstone torch line going all the way up, skip one block put a redstone torch and do not put it on the wall or else you'll get a uh, I think it's what a blinking torch but that's not really important right now okay so we got that all wired up the other important thing is you have to make sure that this one in the very top is always off no power supply to it or else it, the one that I'm doing right now the toggle one will not work so that's pretty important to do. Okay, now I'm going to put it the redstone line over to here. I'm going to put that's my toggle one. Turn it off. Now you're going to need about a five by five space. Start off with right here. I'm going to basically just get all the basic layout done before I start redstone anymore. I even need a torch here. Torch here. There. There, then redstone. There. Now that is the basic flip flop that we're going to be using. So this is how you start off. You put the four here, then you put the redstone torch here and here. 
redstone. Use that red handstone right there to act as a block. And put four across. Put a block right here in the center. Block right on the very end. Don't forget that block on the top or else it's going to screw it up. Okay. So this isn't normally, this one's not going to be about wiring. This is going to be about actually putting it together. I'm going to take off the switch and move my button. So I take it. Yeah, I and after this I'll show you my finished product and my other world. So turn it on. And I got it wire wrong somewhere. I'm missing a wire. Oh there it is. There's a missing wire. Whoopsie. No, I'm still missing a wire. Where am I missing the wire? Is this it? I'm kind of drawing at strings right now. There we go. Oh, forgot about that. <laughs> okay, now um, with that done, we're going to be. Actually, that can't be there. It needs to be farther up. Now, let's get. I'm only going to put it up to there because you can only put axles up three high and then they start to break. Like so. And you have to have the gearbox facing the right way. So I'm going to put it like this. Use that dirt block basically as my anchor. Two. And that should. Ah, oh, I think that's just barely going to be enough. Then grab a pulley. Now a pulley, it doesn't matter which way, which direction it's going. Oh, got one thing. Yeah, one moment and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and what I was missing was this, an anchor. You need anchor, pulley, rope, and platforms to actually do this. And so let's set up the platforms now. It's basically going to just be a 3x3 three three square with actually one straight up and then like that. Once you place the anchor, if it's not like directly underneath it, you'll need to descend the rope so it'll actually connect to the anchor, but with it right here, it's just going to directly connect to it. I'll put the rope in there. And press the button. And it descends. Don't know why I was doing that right there. But nonetheless. Now it does take quite a bit of time. But this does allow for quite a few things to work. I better show you the bottom one so you know that one works. But I can't speed this up though. <laughs> but there's no speeding up. Now, if I'm correct, the maximum size you're going to have for one pulley to one anchor to pull is um, a 4x5 I think that's what it is or a 5x5 just a normal 5x5 platform with two like all four like, side and all the sides of it having anchors that's how I actually have it I'll show you that in the by the world okay and then we press this button wait a second Two. Oh, it didn't work.
Oh, I see why. I see it. I am not very smart today. There. Now it should work. <laughs> the power wasn't getting to it. Seal us back up. Press the button. Now it should. There we go. Uh, it probably will take you a couple of uh, trial and errors, but you'll eventually get it. One thing that I do suggest if you're going to be doing a lot of these elevators, and you don't want to be doing this complex wiring all the way up, uh, I suggest you get a the a wireless redstone. These two are compatible. They don't say, and the creator doesn't say they're compatible, but they are. They don't mod, and the wireless redstone doesn't have any conflicts with it, I should say. And neither does the Billcraft, obviously. And just so you know that it's compatible, I'm going to turn on my too many items so you guys can see it. I was redstone receiver and transmitter. This is good for if you're having trouble with it, with the wiring like I had it down here. You can just have one receiver right here, taking all the you know, actual data, and have a transmitter here, so you don't have to have the redstone current directly at it. You don't have to have it so close. Okay, that's the tutorial. Now I'm gonna bring you to my normal world and you can see how I actually use it in normal th playthrough. Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back. This is my Red than Wolves world. Gotten this mostly legitly. I had to restart since I got the Red than Wolves when I actually when it was about to update to 1.7. So, I had to cheat to get everything back. But, besides that, this is, was my first elevator that I built. Uh, kind of bad because it has a windmill power in it. So, whenever it rains, I have to stop the actual power, uh, axle power coming through it. So, up top, I actually have a wireless receiver up here connected to the gearboxes so that it'll actually automatically put on the brake for it. And this is basically what it is it's one gearbox, it's going into two other gearboxes going into four pulleys. You don't really need the four pulleys, but I like having it. Now this is an example of non-wireless redstone, besides the uh, two brakes. You have the wire coming from one end, hit that button, going through here, and this right here is where my torch, redstone torch comes all the way up. As you can see, this was originally the other flip-flop with switches, but I've switched it out since then. Oopsie. My farm, that's nothing really new for anyone. I'll cover these later. But and here is my pride and joy. My largest elevator, five by five, four uh, pulleys, uh, doing, uh, doing all the work. It says redstone room, no entry, but it's not really that big of a redstone room. It got up here. This was originally going to be a. Uh, I was going to compact it into here, but I kind of screwed it up.
what I have here is basically with the newest update of uh, Better Than Wolves, you can now put redstone and also rails onto it. But they'll reset their position except if they're like this, except for rails. As you can see, I've got it powered, so as soon as it gets up here, my minecart will actually start getting emptied by this. So I'm going to push this back down. Whoopsie. That's not what I wanted to do. Push it on. Let's fly. I have caps lock on. As you can see, the redstone gets reset. The minecart's not actually riding on tracks, it's actually being as if the tracks aren't even there. reason it's not going on to that pow uh, the powered rail unless it will automatically reset onto it. The reason why there's lighting differences is because I'm using single player commands light so I don't have to worry about darkness right now. For, for YouTube, since I know fraps can sometimes make the video kind of dark. Still takes a heck of a long time. I'm probably going to have to speed this up. And we're down. And now you can just push this down. This right here is a detector right now. I have it so that I can actually see when it gets up there. So I can just come over here and press the button to bring it back down. Because down here is my nether portal. And I've been collecting nether wrap. So if I ever needed to, I can just send a both my minecarts up there. Actually, it'll have to be one by one. Send it up. Time lapse now. As you can see right there, there's the detective lock, which I'll cover later. Wait. Get rid of the weather. And detector will send a signal downstairs to where the, that light zone is, telling me that the cart has already left, telling me that I can bring the cart this down and unload it. So that's my basic elevator. I don't have a multi-floor right now. I'm still figuring out how I'm going to do that. Um, if you know any tutorials on how to do multi-floor breaking, um, put it a send me a message and it would be really appreciated. This is Zenit. And this has been a Better Than Wolf tutorial.